I don't log in to Eden much. I've heard a view from the entrance is impressive. Go ahead and see what you tell me what you think. Oh, okay, whatever. Connect jump. Alright, here we go. Eden entrance. There's someone up there. Kyoko is telling us what to do, and I don't appreciate it. How dare you tell us things what to do, you know? What is this? There's an anonymous post on my Digiline. Stop looking at me. What the hell? No reply. Yo, we got another case from the occult club. This one looks personal, though. I think those guys might have taken a liking to us, given that we deal with the strange and unusual in our line of work. And in doing so, they're inviting yet more strange and unusual things into our lives. Starting with themselves. Really? <laughs> oh, shit. We gotta go back with them cult members? Nah, B. Nah, B. I, I, I can't. Sweetie, look behind you and check for yourself. See nothing there. Don't worry about it. I picked up the, the tricky digivice. Those are cult members again? Aw, oh, fuck. Nah, those occult members are gonna put me in. They're gonna put me in the ground, and I don't like it. 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 Here we go. We're gonna go to another area. All right, Eden. Right, Kaloon. We're gonna log out. By the way, if you like this content or more content in the future, make sure you smash that like button down below because it would be very appreciative. And my name's Felix, and I'm happy to have you on the channel today. I'm happy to have you on the channel today. We're going we're gonna to do another mission with the occult people. Nightmare Eater. Occult Research Club's Manaka. Place Eden. My Digiline is weird. It keeps transmitting it without me doing anything. Please find the cause. We get a memory up, too. All right. Oh, crap. Hey, nice to see you again, Manaka. What brings you here by yourself? Well, I think I might be caught up in a cybercrime. Cybercrime? Did you go to the police? I can't really. There are some supernatural elements involved, I think. I understand. You made the right choice coming to us. All right, give us the details. Okay, take a look at this. It's my log on Digiline. All right, let's see what you got. Should I go to my club tomorrow? They claim to do research. They claim to do research, but all they really do is hang out and talk. It's only a club because everyone has similar interests. I should probably enroll in something a little more serious and go to that too. And I could really use a hot manly boyfriend too. Oh my gosh, did I just write that? What's so special about this? So you got a hot crush on a dude. You want to put that on your digi line? Bruh. Did your digi, di, di, digi line? Keep going. You understand why. Could Kenji have a crush on May? No way. She has a one-track mind. She can't think of anything else but occult stuff. Does a guy even have his eyes on straight? He's such an ass. He has a real hottie right in front of him and can't take his eyes off May for even a second to notice it. Maybe I should seduce him. <laughs> I mean, I've got the goods. I'd give him a peek anytime. Ooh, girl, you nasty. Girl, you nasty. You got that good, good hiding under there? You got that really, you got that slimy slicky under there, well girl, let me find out, you got that tight school, ooh, mm, how I put this, your posts aren't pulling any punches here, putting my personal opinion aside, I otherwise don't see anything wrong with them, they look normal to me, now the thing is, I didn't write that stuff, what, they just randomly showed up, but they freaked me out so badly, I deleted them, I hear you, but that doesn't mean your account was pr probably just hacked. Some two-bit hacker probably did it to screw with you, or maybe your computer was infected with... No, it isn't anything like that. Hmm. I take it this is where that supernatural part you mentioned factors into the post? Yeah. I wasn't the one who wrote those posts and put them online, but there are how I feel. You na- Girl, you nasty! You just want to take off your clothes and, and seduce that man's and jump around and... you Girl, you, 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 you're a monster! What you see written there, that's stuff that I think about but don't express out loud. Okay, I get you. It's stuff that's hard to share with any of the other club members, basically. Right. Hmm, seeing as you're part of the occult club, I'm sure you know about Ouija boards and whatnot, right? Your hands move across your will, sending you messages from the spirit world. Something like that could be very possibly happening to you. Looking at the post times on your log, those messages went out in the dead of night. You should have long been sound asleep by that point. Okay, then what? 
In the late 1800s, there was an academic by the name of Enrio Inoue who positioned these sort of things can come by having multiple selves. Enrio Inoue, you mean the man who came up with the mystery studies, right? I've shown off his work at the club before. Hold on, are you saying I have a split personality? The politically correct term for that would be dissociative identity disorder, exactly. Actually, I guess I, I guess it makes sense if I'm writing these posts at night without realizing it, but it will explain it. But, 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 but maybe it's really that I've honestly been worried that it might be deep down. Hmm. But no, that's not it. Hmm? This isn't because of some mental issue. Here, take a look at this. Just try and find me. <laughs> that's what you just now posted onto your account. It's a reply to what I wrote on your Digiline. To the culprit, I'm a detective who's taken up Monaka's case. Know that we will track you down and uncover your identity no matter who or where you are. You can't hide forever. You have been warned. Well, this conversation unfolded online as you and I were talking while you weren't touching any terminals. That means you're not, not the one behind these posts. Thank God she's not crazy, because boy, I bet she got that good good. The real culprit is out there somewhere. Whoever's behind it is just a dumb troll. I'll bet an arrogant one at that. To quote Enrio Inui's work again, what we've got is a case of a fake wonder, or someone trying to make this look more mystical than it really is. In other words, this is plain old hacking. You said that the contents of these posts are based on actual facts about yourself, yes? Well, I don't know about facts so much as just how I think and really feel, really. Were you logged into Eden before you fell asleep? Yes, I do that every night. Gotcha. Then the way I see it, the, I bet the culprit's been snooping around and hacked into your memory data in Eden. You can do that sort of thing in Eden? Well, not literally. At least you're not the lone wolfing it like you're a hacker here. Still, avatars in Eden are essentially digitized versions of people's metadata, so to speak, and so memory data hacks theoretically doable. Things take a bit of a different turn once the so-called supernatural enters the equation. Huh? Don't sweat it. For now, just log into Eden tonight like you normally would. I have my assistant waiting for you in the lobby. Alright, but what do you, do you exactly plan on doing? Actually plan on doing. Oh, that's just say fox hunting. And our decoy will be our little maiden's deep dark secrets. <laughs> she got some nasty deep dark secrets though. She got some nasty deep dark secrets. Nasty deep dark secrets. Like she, she just talking about the sext. She's doing more than sexting on that line, boy. Looks like Monaka's still not here yet. Here's hoping that there isn't a sign of what's to come. Hmm. hmm. Well, I have Monaka lay down our decoy. If the culprit's the type of person I suspect they are, they'll definitely go for it. That means it's pretty safe guess to say that you're going to log in to Eden tonight. Once they're in position, it's just a matter of apprehending them. But that shouldn't be a problem either. That's because Pete's going down there. We'll work down there with us. Pete. How's it going? Long time no see, friend. I'm Pete, the wine of mine. Thanks again for what you did back there with the AC stuff. Good. I had Pete here take a look at those posts the hacker wrote so he could learn their scent. Yep, turns out those messages has traces of Digimon on them. Can't fool me. That Digimon nasty. I'll let you know when the bad guy's close by. You can count on me and my nose. But of course, that's why I brought you on board, Pete. That's so cool working with the real life detective. I feel like the real boy wonder here. Huh? Uh, you don't know what who the boy wonder is? Really? That's Robin. Hey, I'm here. Sorry to keep you waiting. I did just like you asked and posted the message on my Digiline, but am I really going to be okay doing that? Mm, excuse me. <laughs> You're curious what she wrote, aren't you? It's fine. I'll tell you. She confessed her love to the hacker and also mentioned that she really wanted to meet him. Huh? It's a real blatant ploy on our part, but again, the guy thinks his hacking skills are hot shit. He's going to want to verify Monaco's claims, preferably by checking her memories directly. Hacking memory data takes some work, even though she, even though to just take a look inside of it, it'll require actually directly reaching out and making contact with her avatar. That's the only way he could have done this. He had to be of touching her somehow in order to do the hacks. What's more, messing around with someone's mental data would take going around the core of Eden itself. 
the security there is supposed to be tight as it be, and it'd take real effort to break in. The hacker behind Monaka's messages would have therefore had to be touching her for at least several minutes before leaving his handiwork. I smell him! He's close by! Wait a mind! Good, it's time to go hunting. Go investigate the surrounding area and get the person out of this foxhole. Alright. Foxhole sounds nasty though. Foxhole sounds dirty. Can just training really make you stronger? Alright, let's get to work. Too much too much is bad for you. Keep at a pace and you'll get stronger over time, Nunamon. Bad Nunamon. You get stronger over time. Don't be a bad Nunamon. Bad. What the hell? I smell him. We're getting close. Why am I? There, right in front of you. Hurry up and do a scan. Yeah, we got now. We got you now, bitch. You ain't going anywhere. Why am I? <laughs> Ugh, for real? How did you find? Me? You are a sick boy. You are a sick boy. You are a sick creature, and you need to be beaten. How dare you, young kid? I knew it. The culprit's a little kid. Don't call me a little kid. That's rude. Hey, wait a minute. You're the one who spotted me out here before, aren't you? Crap. How did you notice me? You're not supposed to know, be able to see me at all. Oh, so that's what happened. Hey, my little sister is so sensitive to digital waves and special networks. The culprit didn't stand a chance of hiding forever. He's a cyber sleuth. It comes with a job. But enough of that. We've got questions for you. Does that make you a detective too? Wow, you're so hot. Mm. Yeah, whatever. Just answer my questions already. Why are you? How do you achieve such a complicated? I'm what you call a genius architect. I'm not some lowly hacker or programmer. Do you know about the Buckle Reborn service? It's a special service here on Eden. In cases like where a user either permanently leaves Eden or they die, the Buckle Reborn service gathers all that user's, user's data and deletes it. And I'm the one who runs it. Huh? You don't have to act so surprised. Kids are just more attuned to the digital world than adults. I just studied on my own and joined groups that could trade info with me. And soon enough, I started working in your corporate R&D. Oh, but the reason I'm considered a genius isn't just because I run that service, but I'm the one who designed it. You are a genius. You are a genius, but you're a pervert. You're like, what, 10? Get your head out of the, get your head out of some pussy and get your head into real life and make some money here. Actually, what I said about buckle gathering and deleting abandoned user data isn't entirely accurate. It actually does more. Not only does it gather and accumulate data pertaining to a given account, it also organizes it, almost like it has a mind of its own. To be honest, even if I'm surprised by that, I never expected it to act so precisely and deliberately. It's a real case of a creation surpassing the creator, but that's not how it should be with these sort of things, no? I follow you. Buckle Reborn Service. Tell me, does the name Baku refer to the mythological creature that consumes nightmares? Yep, you got it. I named it that because the data we didn't want to show online is very much his own sort of nightmare. And by using that Baku on yourself, you could... Alright, I'm onto what you did now. Mm -hmm. You handed your avatar surface level appearance over to your Baku and let him consume it. That way nobody would... you would be able to know that you were lurking. But you didn't let it purge that data outright. You controlled it yourself, making it hand it back like a dog returning prey to a hunter. Wow, you figured it all out. Yep, you got me. That's amazing, huh? I love it when it actually meet a smart adult. I'm guessing you basically used that same trick to draw out Monaka's mental data then. Yeah, I copied it, but I only did that with her short-term memory. That stuff you found around a person's hippocampus or inside a real brain. Even someone think at his invest as Baku can't break into a person's memory within his active mem mental data. That would definitely be crossing the line, and I understand why that's bad. I'll hand over what I copy to your partner, given that the apparent interest is sparked. It really is like a Baku, isn't it? I think more or less have a grasp of the current situation now. I am. I am that I am not. I think that might be the best way to describe what your partner is to this world, if you catch my drift. Huh? You know, I was just thinking the same thing. Genius or not, even I can't purposefully go out and architect life itself. That thing was probably born by such a pure chance. I have no idea how it'll end up growing moving forward. Certainly at the very least. I have a feeling I'll lose control of it eventually. You're really smart. 
I don't just mean you know a lot either. There's a sharpness to your words that I admire. Can I trust you to let me deal with the Baku? Do you plan on disposing of it? We'll see, depending on how things go. Okay, I trust your judgment. You'll find it uploaded onto a site. The password lock for it is lifted. The rest, I'll leave up to you. Whoa, this little kid, he's the culprit. I would have never guessed there would be someone so young. Well, uh, uh, I, you see. Huh? Why did I do what I did with her account? Who cares at this stage? I won't do it again, and I promise to even apologize for it later. I'll even give her some consolation money, so just leave me alone. You know, I just remembered. We've met here in Eden before, haven't we? We talked for a little bit while I was waiting to meet up with a friend. Right? So why did you do all that mean stuff? You're so smart, you shouldn't be out committing crimes. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Bokuno. That's what I was hoping to hear. See, you're a good kid at heart. <laughs> what are you staring at? I did it, all right. I apologize. Let's call it. Let's call it good at that, shall we? You have to work to do. I'm sending you the URL of the Buckle Reborn Service now. We're going to resume our hunt now. Only our goal is here is to capture rather than kill our target. Monaka, I want you to go back. It's too dangerous for you to stick around. My assistant will take care of everything from here. All right, I'm counting on you. We don't know how our prey is going to react once we get there, so you better be prepared for anything before we go. Wait a minute. I'm ready. I'm ready. Send me to the belly of the beast. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Stay safe. I don't even know where to go after this. Is there like a... Let's go to the Digilab right quick on here. Digivolve Angel Mind. SP 70 is 75 right now. Alright, we're gonna leave the Digilab. Let's see if we have some items that we can we can use. Still got this equipment, HP, sand guard, cam USB, farm goods, key items, IC card, Digimon medals. A lot of medals we can give away. Okay, here we go. Come on. Greymon, you're slow. You're fat. You need to exercise. Oh my goodness. These Digimon are huge. Ha! Angel Mon, just smack him. Here we go. Ooh. Here we go. Walking well, Napalm 2! Here we go, Greymon! I think that was overkill. That was overkill, wasn't it? Greymon, that was overkill. Metal Greymon, that was freaking overkill. Let's see. We're gonna wall crack. Yeah, we can't do level threes yet. I think we have to have like two ultimates, and we don't have the memory for that. Clock mine? You serious? Freaking clock? There it is. Our one and all, our one and only Baku. From the look of it, that kid's program has merged into a wild Digimon. Hmm. Let's see. Oh my goodness, my, my sneeze. It's no use trying to reason here. The program's erased whatever traces were left of that Digimon's own senti sentience. 
Digimon are easily susceptible to influence from main main programs. It's one of the reasons why some don't consider them to be autonomous beings with their own sense of will. There's no getting around this one. You're just gonna have to knock some sense into it. Basically, fuck them up. Fuck them up. Clock mine. Welcome to hell. Venom trap. Go. Mmm. You gonna take some poison damage. Poison damage. Poison damage. Poison damage. Ooh. Alright. Time to holy light. Number two. Ooh. Alright. Here we go. Walking napalm number two. Ooh. Take that. To your ass. Kudamai. Use a fiend or use a fiend. Alright. Okay, now that's over. Download the data and collect what's left for Baku. Once you're done, get out of there and come back to the office. It's hard to believe such a little kid would do a heinous crime like that. I'm still shocked. Heinous, huh? I'm glad to see where you're coming from. Even if he didn't mean any harm by it, what he did, what he did certainly broke the law. But that's all in the past. Now we've exercised your account of that little stalker that haunted it. This case is closed now. We'll be holding on to the Baku program in the meantime. If we can tune it up a bit, he could have really very well come in handy. But I don't get it. Why did he go after me in the first place? <sighs> Do you, neither of you really get why that boy picked on her? In a way, there really was no reason at all. Except to say that it was love at first sight. He really liked you, Monaka. Monaka is cute though. Look at that dress and the way she the way her perky boobs are. Look, 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 look at the orange sleeve. Look at her hair. It's pinned up so nicely. He really liked you, Monaka, huh? At first, he probably just wanted to get to know you more with all his heart, but as we saw, he was less mature than we'd like to admit. He wanted to tease and mess with you so you'd pay attention to him. At his age, it's probably standard mentality towards someone like you, really. Wait a mind! Woo, that was so fun. Let me help out again if something comes up, okay? Wait a mind! I think it's pretty cool to be a detective cat, did you mind like that? Wait a mind! <laughs> you definitely helped us back out there, so you have my thanks, Pete. Anyway, are you still not able to actually leave the confines of Nakano Broadway's intranet? Yeah, I think it has to do with how the network protocols for the intranet are it makes it hard to transfer data around. It could be just some stuck to the vacuum cube computer, like how Baku was to that Digimon. Wait a mon! Hmm, there's so much to learn about what Pete truly is, it seems. Huh? Why do we call Pete Pete? Well, he's a cat. He was extracted from his little time capsule when he was frozen asleep all his time. Besides, opening up doors and you're bound to. Well, do you really need a reason for it? His name's Pete. Unlike the digital world, the real world is filled to the brim with things that have no real reason for being what they are. It's a simple pleasure in life that we are intended to have as humans. Don't sweat it too much, just kick back and enjoy it. Alright, here we go. Gonna unlock that quest. Yay! Pete's an important member of the team, so make sure you two get along, alright? 